Hi, this is Tom from the 125 Live TechMates team in Rochester, Minnesota. Our main purpose is to assist 125 Live members with technology. Our YouTube videos and website content can be enjoyed by anyone free of charge. Classes and personal assistance are available free of charge for 125 Live social members. Non-members need a day pass. Call 507-287-1404 to join or to purchase a day pass. Let's take a look at how to install Zoom on a Mac. Uh, one good way to do that would be to start by going to the Zoom US website, which is at zoom.us in your favorite web browser. I've already gone there and then you'll find the home page looks like this. And if you click on the support on the top right of the menu bar, you'll find that there's a search feature where you can search for all kinds of helpful information. So I'm gonna type in how to install, and then right on top list is already installed on a Mac. I'll click on there. And so now we have all step-by-step -step instructions and I'll go through them and, and comment on them as I go through. To start with, you're gonna to need to set permissions to install by clicking on the Apple icon in the top left corner of your screen, then choose system preferences. Once the system preferences window opens, you'll need to click on security and privacy, which is framed here in red. Next, you need to make sure that the little lock in the bottom left corner is unlocked. Right now on your screen here, this one's locked. If it's locked, you need to click on it and unlock so that your lock like your um, your your system preferences such you can make changes to them. And you do that by entering your administrator's username and password. Next, you need to, if app store and identified developers is not clicked on or ch checked and allow apps download from, then click on that little dot there and That'll be the option. As you see here, the lock is unlocked. If you have Mac High Sierra 1013.x, you'll need to click on allow. That'll pop up next. And if you click on the icon, the lock icon, you can lock up your, your system change preferences so that so they're secure. And then you're ready to install the Zoom application. Uh, there's, there's a real handy link right here, Download Center. Recommend your right mouse click on there to open up the Download Center in another tab. I'll do that right now. Open link and new tab. And then you'll have the download center. You click on the download and it'll download the application. And on a Mac, you'll see a zoom.package file, probably in your download section and finder. Double click on, on the zoom package to open it and start the install process. Just click, oh, click continue. This is just informational. And then you have an option to install for all users or to install for me only. The default is install for all users. If you wanna go with that, just click continue. If you wanna go with install for me only, then just click on install for me only to highlight that and then click continue. And then you have a choice. If you want to, you can change the install location by clicking here and highlighting it. 
and then stay installed. But for most people, you don't you're probably not going to need to click on install location. Just simply click on install, and it'll go for the default location. And uh, you might be asked for the administrator uh, username and password before the installation will continue. And if so, just pr provide that information and click install software. And finally, when done, you'll get a confirmation window and you can just click on close. So that's it. Another thing that, that you may want to know more about is Zoom application permissions. And if you click uh, right mouse click on, on the link, it'll open up another tab again. If you select open link and new tab. And there'll be some very thorough, helpful information about permissions. If you don't grant permissions to the Zoom application, uh, you're going to see these types of pop-up windows popping up saying Zoom would like to have access to the camera. Okay, that type of thing. Uh, and it's not too much of an inconvenience to, to just do that the first time you use it. But if you want to be proactive, this document tells you how to grant those permissions right away. And I have another video on that that, that you can watch if you want to on how to uh, handle the Zoom Zoom permissions on a Mac. So that's it. I hope you found this video helpful. If you still have questions, send us an email with your name, phone number, and a brief description of your question.